All right, well, welcome back to uh, yet another robot that I've got going here. Uh, for the record, my name is Clark Chef, uh, CS major at Cal State San Marcos here in California, and uh, been a summer break here, so without classes, I needed something to do. So, been building some robots, getting the hands-on microcontrollers, all that good stuff. Anyways, uh, you've probably seen if you watch some videos before, you've seen my. Uh, object avoidance robot which uh, used sonar and uh, was on tank tread so it was mobile and it would use sonar to detect uh, when objects got in front of it and it would then stop scan find a better way to go so uh, I got a little bored with that now so decided to move on to something else not quite sure what this is yet but uh, I'm thinking of a snake or something to that effect right now I've got about three servos which are those beige guys right there and then a uh, head which I had fabricated today went ahead and added some beady red eyes on it so you can see there's the other one there so but uh this is it not a huge thing but it's hopefully going to entertain you for just a uh, a minute or two here as we uh, show off what it can do for the time being and it's not too much since it's got the three servos, but uh, it does some stuff. It can sit, roll over, <laughs> wag its tail, stuff like that, but you'll see. It's got a few moves, and uh, as I hit reset here, we're going to go ahead and uh, go through the paces and watch it go. So let's zoom in and get the show going. And here we go. push-ups, little wiggle, a bigger wiggle, inchworm type of thing, oh, that was supposed to be it sitting up, but didn't quite do it, so now it flipped over, it's on its other side, doing all the tricks again now on the opposite side, some push-ups, wiggles again, And that's the flip that it can do to move over. So let's see if we can get this bad boy to sit. Because he can sit. And it's really cool looking. We're actually going to do this. Let's go ahead and watch it from the front here. And here we go. There it is. It's that. Boom. Perfect. Does a backflip. That's what I was supposed to do last time, but uh, didn't do it. So. and now it's going to flip over and there you go so that's all it does right now I can hook my PC up to it and send those commands manually and have it not do that but I have it run the sequence so I can show it off without the computer being hooked up and uh, hopefully we'll get somewhere else uh, maybe some movement or something anyways uh, there it is the next robot in the lineup of many to come